This is Nessie, and I'm going to do a review on the new and unique, new, unique, and huge doll, new doll. Her name is Gulapi Jellington, and I hope I said that right. Like, sometimes I feel as if Monster High or Mattel should add, like, a pronunciation in parentheses of how you say the word or the name, because, you know, I, like, I don't even, I don't know, because I just say it how I think how it is, you know? But yeah, if I'm wrong, please correct me. Feel free. It's it's okay. Okay. <laughs> and it says daughter of, of dot 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 unknown. And this is and she is part of the freak the chic. And I think the reason kind of why they say daughter of like unknown is because most not most, but some people that come from the circus don't really have parents or don't know them or just leave, you know. And they find the circus and their circus is their new family. So that could be it. I think outside the box. <laughs> She is actually 17 inches, and it's pretty pretty big, you know. And if you notice on the box, like when you have it, it's like a spider web type look. And her hand is supposed to be more this way, but it's she's it's like she's trying to break out out of the box. So I think that's kind of part of her stunt. Um, the back, she has her. It's like her right here, and she's actually really really pretty. She has a face like Laguna. Just remind me of her. And it says, Gulaby Jellington, breakout star of Freak Du Chic. And it has some of the stuff that's going to be in her diary, and I'll just read some of it. Her killer style is being somewhat larger than unlife makes it impossible to buy my clothes off the rack. So everything I wear has to be stitched together by claw from material found around the Freak Du Chic. That's not to say my circus chic is not freak. I do fantastic, because it certainly is. <laughs> Uh, her freaky flaw it says, I'm quite comfortable around this carnival. Oh, that's cool. It's carnival, carnival. It's carnival and all the terrifying, terrifyingly talented acts. But when I step outside of the freak to cooler world, I feel like I don't fit in and, because, and become very nervous. So much so, I literally begin to shake like jelly. And then she has her other stuff, which you can read in her diary if you get the doll. So I'll be right back and I'm going to uh, box her. And we're back. Here is Gulapi out of the box. Uh, I'm going to say Jellington because I know for sure that's how you pronounce that. You know, it's easier for me. Um, she is tall. Yet yeah, I'm so tall than her. But, you know, she's huge. So before I get to explain her, I'm going to show you the box again. So this box, as you can see, doesn't look like a normal box. Here, Jennifer Long, another freak douchey doll. You can tell the difference of the boxes. How tall like it's it's not even the same length it's like big on every side of it and it's just I can't even look at this box straight anymore because I'm so used to looking at this and that doll but yeah stay tuned for that review also coming up soon uh, back to Jellington so she is back and she is huge she's big really big um I'm gonna start with her head you know it's just the first thing so her hair is um, kind of like a gold color, a goldish yellow with pink highlights or, yeah, it's kind of both colors, not really highlights, just both colors. And it's supposed to be kind of wavy or curly as you can kind of tell in the picture on the, you tell in the back and stuff, but we're going to fix her hair later to make it better, you know. Um, she has this little, like, um, headband on her head and it's a piano with kind of like accordion cords and stuff like that at the top and it's gold and then the normal black and white keys of the piano um she has orange and uh, orange and yellow eyeshadow on her eyes with her pink eyebrows so if her, if her eyebrows are pink her hair must be the main color of pink because you know your eyebrows is like the main color of your hair so yeah fun fact and her eyelashes she has her eyelashes and then she has little black designs like a swirlies around her eyelid on the or not yeah the top with little dots on the top and her eyes are blue and it's really really cute and the inside of her eye like the little white part here um there's a little design it's not like a normal eye if you look at the other dolls it's kind of like a design and then her eyelashes on the bottom with dots she has red lipstick yes and it's really really cute and she has two earrings and this one it, they're actually really big and her ear is actually it has like it looks like um when you melt chocolate like it's like kind of like her skin on her ear and the earring 
um, has a heart, Monster High skull at the top, and it dangles down. It's like those dangly earrings, and it has a big circle with gold designs around it. It looks, kind of looks like an orange, like a fruit, you know? Um, the next thing she has is this little armor type thing. It reminds me, it's like the military shoulder pads, and it's gold, and it has just little dots and designs on it. And it has like spider webs on the insides and on the top, and then um, little studs connecting with it. Now she's ha she wears wearing a dress, and it's actually fairly short in the back at least, but it's okay because she's a doll. <laughs> um, it's kind of like a tank top dress. It's pretty much what it is. She has her little black straps with the, the top portion of it is red and black, and they look like infinity signs. But I mean, that's not the really way they're going in with, but that's just what I kind of infer. Actually, I think they're supposed to be bows, because of the other designs on the sides. And there's yellow little just lines and prints. It's like stripes. And then she has a black and white stripe thing here. It actually kind of matches the top portion of Rochelle Goyle's um, dress. So I think, I think they're kind of all connected with stripes somehow. And then the bottom portion is kind of like the top. It's, it's just there's different designs, like um, it's black with red and white and then yellow and goldish oranges little designs going around and then over here like the main design there's that sign again that sign in science is like a toxic sign like I know that's not what it's meaning but it's kind of like the sign of toxic and I'm actually because it and I do pay attention sometimes to science guys it's like meaning like toxic and she I read some of her diary and she said it says like little portions and I'll show y'all later but little portions at the top it says like experience or experience experiment 816 batch 8708 and it just says some stuff like that so I'm thinking maybe she was a science experiment and she came out like this and she's huge that's just my conspiracy in other words it's my thoughts you know but you know it's cool and then there has little drapes going down like red and white with little ropes underneath it she has the same type kind of show that she has the same cut type designs as Rochelle does it's white and black and it's like little cut off areas here and I'm gonna talk about her joints real fast and go back to her hand and stuff normal the monster high dolls normally you can take off their hand and this part of their elbow and then the rest is just a part of the torso you know and then the body the legs but this one actually I don't want to take it off because you know uh, I guess I can um her hand come up comes off like the normal monster high doll you know but the thing is, her elbow doesn't come off. It's just the straight up joint that's there. But you take, you can, it's this little portion here. It's softer here, like, and you can actually take that off. And you kind of see where the torso kind of hangs. And then you just put it back on. I kind of like the mold of her. Like, her body is just really cool. And it, it's ac actually also the same way with the legs, because you can't, you don't really take that off. I'm not really sure if the legs are detachable or not, and I don't want to try it right now. So I'm just going to kind of let y'all figure that out if you're home, but don't break it off. No. So um, it's the same with the, the thigh here, kind of the design. Yeah. So now I'm going to talk about her shoes. As you can see, her giant stand bottom. Um, they're pink with that the heel part is like a carousel horse, bones the kind of like bones of it and then it's like a seat you know like when you're sitting on like an elegant seat it's like pink sometimes and it kind of looks like that with the back of it and then there's a bow type design in the front with the monster high skull that's black and it's a really really high heel she does come with a brush and a stand I mean obviously you know this stand is I think the part where it holds the body is kind of like a boys doll type thing but nobody has this stand and it's huge Here's her diary, and it says the diary of dot 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 Gloopy Gelatin, and then she's in the middle. And it just has, like I, I was telling y'all, I, re I read some of it, like her thoughts, you know, it's a diary, and then it says here, experiment. And this is actually a letter I was reading, and it's actually a letter from, um, it was saying that from her dad or something, but she doesn't know, like the person that was conducting the experiment, that's what it was saying, something like that. But she classifies, and it says here that her circus is her family. And then I, was, I kept reading, and I got to hear it said April 18th is her birthday. They normally don't really, like, um, include birthdays, you know, on um, the diaries and stuff. I really think they should, though. It was pretty cool. So, yeah. 
and she's talking about how you know it's kind of like a it was kind of a surprise because she thought that people didn't remember her birthday and it's actually pretty interesting you should really read your doll's diaries seriously like that sounds kind of personal but you know you should and then you have the all about me and you know i actually read already some of this on the box but you know i can read some more um her favorite her bffs are all the members of freak do chic ha. and her biggest pet peeve is when other monsters treat the members of freak do chic like freaks thing is you're all monsters even if you're different you're unique in your own way just being a monster yourself is like unique you know and it's like if you, monster is like a freak to humans like if monsters were real i'd freak out if this person was real if Goopy Jellington was real, I'd flip. Yeah. Even though they're, they're not bad, they're good, but you never know what their ancestors are. Like, Deuce Gorgon, Medusa. I like myself. I don't want myself to turn into stone. Like, nothing. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as much as I did, I enjoyed making this video. And, yes. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe to our account, and go buy this doll at your local... Oh, wait. Hold this. Hold on a second. Um, we actually got this all at Toys R Us. Um, yes. And actually, I went with my dad on Saturday to go to the store, you know. And went to Toys R Us, and we actually saw four of Gulupi Jellingtons. And I actually took a picture, you know. And then they were actually stalking other dolls and stuff, so then I saw another one. And we saw Shopkins. And you know, you know that they have a limit on Shopkin, Shopkins? Shopkins, Shopcakes. I want to say Shopcakes. Shopkins now, where you can only get two. Well, actually, the Toys R Us lets us get three, but it says two. Two limit per guest, and some of them two per family, which I kind of understand because of those those people, those resellers. Those resellers, man, I don't understand. Um, how they like to get money, you know, and they like all the boxes out of there, like for Shopcakes, Shopkins, and they do the same thing with the Monster High dolls. They buy, like, all of them. On, we saw two of these, and we bought one. We were grateful. We were excited, and we were saving it for somebody else that wanted it. We weren't just going to be greedy and go buy it. It's just great. Sorry. Back to this video. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe to our account, and stay tuned for more Freak Do Chic videos.